interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they, they did a good job. I just uh, wish they would have stayed there longer, right. obviously, and we didn't uh, lose any of those bags. Uh, uh, it was a powerful storm, obviously, the fourth uh, strongest storm ever to hit the United States in terms of wind speed, third strongest in uh, the pressure. So it is gone now. It's moved on, but uh, it's going to be sticking around a while as far as the damage goes, and uh, the death toll continues to rise, unfortunately. Uh, with this uh, massive storm, uh, Michael caused all sorts of problems, but it did also bring a cold front away. Get the, look at those clouds right there. Uh, you'll see them moving off to the south. That's the back end of a cold front, the first one of the season, really. That's going to cool us down a little bit. It's already done so this evening. You may have noticed the lower humidity, nice sunset tonight, beautiful weather out there. Uh, we deserve it after a long, long summer with very warm temperatures. And the viewer photos came in. Uh, Cindy Desmond getting this one near the Venice Jetty. Notice people out there fishing, enjoying the weather. The red tide, for the most part, seems to be gone temporarily. Who knows? It may come back. Someone even swimming there in some of the surf. And David Hobbs is getting this from Sarasota Bay. This is the Sarasota Sailing Squadron. They have a big F-18 a national championship or world championships taking place uh, begins today and goes for the next week there. And they saw that cold front cloud there as well. Another one from Palmer Ranch, Ziff getting that. And this one from Vito out there by Oakford off of Fruitville. And the red tide, yes, is looking a lot more uh, a lot more positive now as far as that goes. Nothing to report in South Sarasota County. Uh, also uh, up into Manatee County, only a couple of sections there are showing very low or low concentrations. Uh, this is uh, not the best news, though. It's still showing up in Pinellas County. They had the big waves, big surf as well, but it's still there in high concentrations and median concentrations. So it's not to say that it's gone for good, but it has disrupted it enough uh, that we should see a real good weekend. So uh, get out there and enjoy the beaches. It's going to be beautiful. 73 right now. Uh, there's no problem with the heat index, but the dew point is so low at 67. That makes the humidity, although it's 81%, but the dew point is what you look at. It makes it feel really comfortable. Lows tomorrow, 67 in Northport, 65 Mayaka City, a little bit warmer near the coast. Sarasota should be right at 69. We haven't seen that since May 26th in the 60s and 66 expected into Sebring. So uh, we're going to see a cool start tomorrow. Uh, we'll warm up into the mid 80s. Should be a gorgeous day. No threat of any rainfall as a result of uh, this high pressure ridge, which is building in behind the front. And uh, everything's pretty much zonal now, meaning that it's flowing from the uh, west to the east. So there's no big drop in the jet stream. We're not going to get a reinforcing shot of cooler air uh, anytime soon. Uh, the long range models do, do indicate that we will see a strong cold front, a strong one coming through uh, late uh, this uh, month, around August 26, when temperatures will get down in the 70s, I believe, for high temperatures uh, on uh, not this weekend, not the next week, but the weekend after if everything goes as planned, but it looks to be going as planned over the weekend. We're looking for generally fair skies both on Saturday and Sunday. We'll start to see some of that wind come back. The three storms out there, no problems. Uh, again, um, Michael's going to race off to the east and looks like Leslie's about done in about two days as it heads toward uh, the uh, Mediterranean there. And also Nadine is weakening as it pushes to the west. Look at the water temperatures that have cooled in the path of Michael. So it's uh, down in the low 80s there. Still mid to upper 80s, even near 90 degrees in the western Gulf of Mexico. So still very powerful if a storm were to get into there. 85 degrees the high today. As far as the national summary goes, still some showers over Ohio. They had some snow today in Illinois and highs tomorrow will be in the 40s or I should say into the uh, 50s, but they're in the 40s right now in St. Louis and in Chicago. Well, here's the forecast as we see it for boaters looks good tomorrow. Seas will be running at right around two feet with a light chop. North winds at 10 knots and the extended forecast then calling for a slight chance for showers on Sunday and Monday and then better chances. We turn to summer and we we'll start to see things heat up a little bit as well. Well back above average as we move through the week.